everybody, I'm Miss Amber, and today we're reading Just Like Josh Gibbon, written by Angela Johnson and illustrated by Beth Peck. This week we are talking about balls and sports, and so this book looks like from the picture, what's it look like she's playing? It looks like she's playing baseball. So this story, judging by the, the front cover, the story is about a girl playing baseball. So let's see what happens. Just Like Josh Gibson. And this page right here, we haven't talked about this one yet. We've talked about title pages, but this is called a dedication page. And it is the page that the author notes who they wrote the story for. So it says, to Art Johnson and all the boys and girls of summer, for Brittany and all the other people who molded, who modeled for this book. Thank you. And for my children, Anna Rose and Emma. So the author and the illustrator gave their dedication to who they're saying who they wrote this book for. And some books have these, and it's called a dedication page. Grandmama says, there's nothing like baseball, the story goes. Josh Gibson once hit a baseball in Pittsburgh so hard that it didn't come down. Oh my goodness, every time we've thrown balls up in the air or thrown them outside, they've always come back down, right? So the fact that it never came down, that means he hit it so hard that it's still all the way up in space. The next day, he was playing in Philadelphia and the ball dropped out of the sky right into the fielder's glove. The umpire pointed to Josh and said, you're out yesterday in Pittsburgh. Grandmama says her papa showed up on that same day, the day she was born, with a Louisville slugger and a smile. He said his new baby would make a baseball's fly, just like Josh Gibson. So Grandmama's papa threw balls to his baby girl in the early morning dew. Those summer days were like magic as the ball sailed away, sailed away, gone. But girls in the 40s didn't play baseball. They weren't supposed to take the field with the boys or have batting dreams. So even when Grandmama got bigger, she still had to stand outside the fence and watch her cousin Danny and the Maple Grove All-Stars batting away. now and again when the team was just practicing they'd let grandmama play too then grandmama would step up to the plate hit the ball and watch it soar but she hit it and there it is up in the sky grandmama says danny would imagine he was playing with the dodgers but she was always josh gibson playing for the grays wearing the team colors and hitting away. Grandmama says she would play all day with everyone saying she could do it all, is throw and fly around the bases, but too bad she's a girl. Too bad she's a girl. Now is that thing like, do you think that's really fair that because she's a girl she wasn't allowed to play? No, that, that doesn't seem very fair, right? We always want to make sure that everyone can play what they want to play. Until two days, hot days, after the 4th of July, Danny heard his arm sliding into second, and there were only eight All-Stars. Well, if he got hurt, what do you think is going to happen next? That's a good guess. Let's see what happens. That afternoon, the team looked to Grandmama, pink dress with a white bow, and Danny's baseball shoes. So she's putting on her, his shoes. So what do you think is going to happen next? So she put on, he got hurt. The first thing that happened was Danny got hurt. Second thing is she's putting on his baseball shoes. 
So what do you think is going to happen next? That's a very good idea. Let's see. And Grandmama says as she went to the plate, she remembered hitting balls with her papa and standing behind the fence watching the boys play. The story goes, Grandmama hit the ball a mile that day, caught anything that was thrown, and did everything else just like Josh Gibson. As she hands the ball to me, she says, there's nothing like a baseball baby, and I couldn't help but love it, especially that one time I got to hear the cheers, hear all the cheers while stealing home. The end. So I hope you really enjoyed that story and I will see you next time. Bye.